Greetings and salutations. This is Retson Noor from the Alternative Society, but I'm also part of the Alternative Inner Circle. Now, the Alternative Inner Circle is basically a spiritual group that we feel that there are alternative entities that we are living with that we can't personally see but sometimes they can be seen with infrared cameras and stuff like that because uh, I mentioned on the first program we have surveillance cameras at our house and uh, we can see unusual activities usually after midnight on the surveillance uh, cameras and uh, there's no explanation for it. I'm guessing that these are uh, spiritual entities that uh, are existing around my house. Mm. And I happen to live in Hadley, Hadley, Massachusetts. And Hadley, Massachusetts has at the Historical Society a story about the Angel of Hadley. And the Angel of Hadley is uh, something that is known about uh was this was i guess during uh, the early years of the settlement of hadley and uh settlers were uh out and about and i guess this so-called angel of hadley showed up and uh, warned them that indians were uh, coming over to attack them and they got prepared for an attack uh, but this so-called Angel of Hadley just disappeared. And nobody really has an explanation of who or what this Angel of Hadley was. They just said that some person came over and warned them about some kind of Indian attack and then disappeared. So, so Hadley does have a reputation for having some kind of... Uh, so-called paranormal activity from the early days of the settlers of Hadley, Massachusetts. And I live in Hadley, Massachusetts. I've experienced unusual uh, things uh, over the years, uh, which I didn't really think too much about years ago. But as time went on, I started thinking that this seems to be some kind of sign that uh, something is going on and I don't have any explanation for it. I mentioned last time that uh, unusual activities, which I classify as paranormal activities, seem to happen to me on a weekly basis, always some, some kind of unusual thing. Uh, the last thing happened to me just last weekend. I was doing lawn mowing and I was attacked by bees but the bees only went on my shoes and socks. They didn't go anywhere else. And I had shorts on. They they didn't go on my legs or anything. They were just a bunch of bees on my shoes and socks. Uh, and I had uh, water. I was trying to get them off my shoes and socks. There. I had to take my shoes and socks off because there were bees there. But I did not have bees on the rest of my body, which... Uh, Somebody thought was kind of unusual because I mentioned it to somebody at my job and he said that uh, he knew somebody that was attacked by bees and uh, the bees went all over him, including on his back and everything, and he was rolling around on the ground uh, trying to uh, get rid of the bees. I didn't experience that kind of situation. Uh, the bees just went on my shoes and socks, so I don't have any explanation why that happened. And there were a lot of bees on my shoes and socks. Uh, there must have been maybe three dozen or something. I don't know. But they were just on my shoes and socks. So I had these uh, bees attacking me. Uh, and then my ankles were itchy after that. And I don't know if they actually stung me. I don't know if uh, uh, an itch means I got stung or if it was just itchiness. <laughs> So I was attacked by bees, so that was just an example of some unusual event. Uh, there's a number of things that have happened to me I don't have any explanation for. So I decided that I'm going to come over here and uh, 
maybe interview a ghost over here at the Amherst Media. Build, the building here is uh, fa fairly old. I think it uh, belongs to the electric company. There's uh, the electrical power uh, units in the back of the building there, and I think this was an office or something or other uh, years ago. So I set this up uh, with uh, a microphone, uh, and I'm going to be having an interview with a ghost because I think uh, there's some ghosts here in this building. It's an old building, <clears throat> and how I'm going to communicate with them is with my crystal. So I'm going to show you what I do, and I'm going to have the uh, ghost here uh, give me some answers. I'm going to put the crystal over the microphone. I'm going to ask the crystal, show me a yes. Okay. And it's going clockwise. Now, uh, show me a no. And it's going counterclockwise. So I'm going to be asking uh, uh, the so-called ghost that might be lurking around in this building, which uh, nobody seems to be able to uh, know about. Uh, I happen to... Uh, seem to be kind of partial to the paranormal. So I'm going to have this interview with the ghost here, and I'm going to say, is there a ghost present here? Okay, the crystal says yes. Okay, uh, have you been in this building for a number of years? Says yes. Okay, uh, I noticed that there's uh, really nothing on the second floor except uh, they seem to have just some uh, junk and stuff. It's like a storage area. It's not really being used. Uh, uh, might there be other uh, ghosts up on the second floor here in this old building? Okay, well, the crystal says yes. So there are other ghosts here in this building, according to the crystal here. Uh, now, are you actually staying downstairs here most of the time? Well, the ghost says no, it doesn't stay downstairs most of the time. So do you like to come downstairs here when there are people over here? Okay, it says yes. It does like to come over here when there are people over here. Uh, uh, would you say that uh, uh, you're here because uh, you used to work in this building? No, you did not work in this building. Is this a location that uh, used to be some other place that you used to live in? No. Is this uh, location something that uh, you came over to this location from some other location? Okay, so according to the ghost, it came from some other location. So you never actually worked or lived in this building, is that correct? Okay, you never actually lived and worked in this building. Uh, I'm uh, curious, did you come from a farm, uh, uh, from a nearby farm that uh, was here in the Amherst area? No. Uh, did you come from another uh, town in Massachusetts?
did come from another town. My my arm's getting a little tired here. So according to this ghost, uh, it came over to this building from some other town in Massachusetts uh, uh, and settled, settled in this building here, maybe because it was an older building. So I'm going to be asking some more questions. I just needed to rest my arm here because I had to hold it up and uh, kind of up in the air. My arm was getting a little tired there. I'll get back to my interview here. Uh, so are you classified as a male? Okay, a male ghost. Uh did you uh, live in uh, some community within uh, 10 miles of this building? So you were not in a place that was within 10 miles of the building here. Okay, did you live in some place that was maybe 20 miles away from this location? No, not even 20 miles. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to ask, uh, was it maybe 50 miles away that you came from? Not even 50 miles. Was it another state, maybe, that you might have uh, came from another state into Massachusetts and then came over here? Not from another state. Uh, um, could it be like maybe 100 miles away that you came from, 100 miles away? Not even a hundred miles. Okay. Uh, let's ask, uh, did you by any chance uh, uh, come from uh, somewhere along the coast of Massachusetts, say like around Boston or uh, Cape Cod? Okay, according to the uh, crystal, this uh, so-called ghost came from an area, maybe from Boston to Cape Cod along the coast somewhere. So did you by any chance die in this uh, shipwreck? No. Ah... Uh. Did you by any chance uh, uh, get attacked by Indians? No. Uh, were you a veteran of some uh, ancient war, say like a Revolutionary War or the Civil War? Okay, so this seems to be some kind of veteran that uh, uh, came from the other end of the state that uh, came over here. This is what the information is, uh, and I'm just doing this. I don't have any idea what's going on here, so I'll ask some more questions. Uh, so uh, I'm guessing now that you are some kind of veteran from the Revolutionary War, maybe? No, not the Revolutionary War. Are you a veteran from the Civil War?
Okay, it says it's from the Civil War, so... I know that there were uh, groups of people from Massachusetts because I used to do Civil War reenacting myself. I did that for 15 years. Uh, I participated with uh, this group in Florence, Massachusetts. It was the 10th Mass Volunteer Regiment. Uh, uh, they were looking for a drummer, and I did uh, drumming with them for 15 years. I uh, went to a number of uh, parades, and I did uh, reenactments, uh, and I did that. Uh, actually, it's a volunteer thing, and I did that for 15 years, but uh, when my mother died, I, I had to uh, stop doing that because I needed to work. <laughs> That was at the time there. I was uh, working part-time, and uh, I couldn't really uh, uh, do the Civil War reenacting after my mother died. I actually started working about f between 50 and 60 hours a week after my mother died, so I was unable to do uh, Civil War reenacting, but I did do that. So uh, let me ask the uh, ghost here... Uh, uh, are you here because I did Civil War reenacting? No. Are you here because uh, there are other Civil War uh, 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 people that have come and gone that lived in Amherst? So the ghost claims that uh, there were some Civil War uh, people that lived in uh, Amherst. Uh, I did reenacting, but uh, I'm guessing this uh, this ghost was in the actual Civil War, so you were actually in the Civil War between 1860 and 1865. Is that what you're saying? Okay, now we have a better idea. We have a, a veteran from the Civil War that came from uh, some area uh, along the coast, maybe Boston, Cape Cod or something. Uh, were you involved by any chance with the 10th Mass Vol uh, Volunteer Regiment that was an actual regiment during the Civil War? They were in Florence, Massachusetts. No. Did you know of uh, anybody in the 10th Mass Volunteer Regiment in Florence, Massachusetts? No, you don't know anybody in the 10th Mass. Okay. Uh, when we did reenactments, we traveled all over the place, including uh, uh, Gettysburg. Did you uh, get involved with the uh, Gettysburg battle? So, according to the ghost here... Uh, he was involved with the uh, Gettysburg battle, which was uh, a, a pretty intense. Um, you're you're saying that uh, you uh, you were not killed in uh, in one of these ba battles, where you you were we, you were not killed. Is that correct? Okay, the crystal says uh, the ghost claims it was not killed during the Civil War. Did you get wounded uh, during battle? No, I did not get wounded during battle. Did you uh, live a long and a fruitful life even after the Civil War? No.
No. Did something happen to you after the Civil War was over that uh, did you uh, did you by any chance get some kind of sickness and uh, died from a sickness? No, I didn't die from a sickness. Uh, uh, did you die from old age? Did not die from old age. Did uh, somebody uh, do something to you and then you ended up dying? Okay, uh... Somebody did something to this ghost and it died. <laughs> uh, were you by any chance poisoned? No. Uh, did you die from some kind of accident, say like some kind of uh, accident with a horse or something like that? Did you have some kind of accident? Okay, so this person died from some kind of accident. Uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know if I want to get into too many details here. Uh, Is this an accident that uh, happened to you uh, when you were on your own? No. Is this some accident that happened to you when you were with some other people? Yes. Uh, is this some kind of accident that was caused uh, by you? No. Is this an accident that was caused by somebody else? Yeah, so, uh, did you by any chance get in an accident when you were traveling from uh, your area where you came from and you happened to come over to this area and you died in this area uh, in an accident? Okay, so this ghost supposedly came over here uh, to this area and died in an accident when it was over here. It didn't work in this building. It didn't have anything to do with the building. I guess it was just traveling here and got in some kind of accident. <laughs> uh, this is really kind of weird. <laughs> So, uh, so did you die in an accident uh, with some kind of horse, horse-drawn vehicle? No. Did you... Uh, by any chance, go visiting some of the sites around here, and you you might have climbed a mountain and 
fell to your death? Is that what happened? No. <sighs> okay, I'm kind of uh, trying to figure out how you died when you came over to this area here. Uh, uh, did somebody by any chance uh, shoot you uh, with a gun? No. Did somebody use a knife on you? Wait a minute, what was that? Okay, so uh, somebody attacked this uh, person that was visiting the area here with a, a knife. So is this like a robbery that uh, somebody attacked you and tried to steal stuff from you and then they killed you with a knife? Okay, uh, so this is some kind of robbery that this person was killed in a robbery. Uh, it was a Civil War uh, participant, uh, but not died during the Civil War, but was attacked after the war was over. So did you die in this area where this building is? So this ghost died in this building uh, where where I'm located here. Did you uh, come from the Boston area? No. Did you come uh, somewhere between uh, Boston and Cape Cod? No. Uh, did you come from Cape Cod? Uh, so this this ghost I, I came from a uh, Cape Cod uh, traveling in this area was attacked by somebody uh, uh, as a robbery and was killed in this area here by somebody with a knife. Is this uh, uh, done uh, sometime between 1870 and 1880? No. Is this between 1880 and 1890? What was that? So this uh, was between 1880 and 1890, so... This might be in the record somewhere. I don't have any information about that, but according to the uh, crystal, uh, this was some kind of uh, traveler from Cape Cod that came over to the Amherst area, happened to be coming in this area where this building is, uh, was attacked, uh, and uh, was probably uh, robbed and uh, killed with a knife. And this happened between... 1880 and 1890. Does that sound correct, all that information? Okay. The crystal claims that that is correct. So we have uh, a ghost here. 
that happens to be in the building here that was uh, 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 killed. <laughs> Did you by any chance come over to Amherst to visit because the uh, Emily Dickinson or something maybe or some kind of famous person that or you knew somebody over here? No. Did you come to visit a friend? No. Did you by any chance uh, just come to go uh, to another area, say like you were on your way to uh, uh, Vermont or uh, some other location and you just happened to be coming through Amherst? Is that what happened? Okay, so this was some kind of a traveler that happened to be traveling through Amherst. I uh, was attacked by uh, somebody as a robbery and uh, uh, killed, and it was somewhere near this TV station, Amherst Media, which is uh, on College Street here in Amherst. Uh, I could keep going on, but uh, apparently uh, <laughs> I'm getting a little uh, out of sorts here. I'm going to uh, ask the uh, the ghost a few more questions, and I'm going to let it uh, go for now. Uh, I'm not moving the crystal. It moves by itself. Uh, are you buried here in Amherst here? Okay, uh, this uh, person is buried in Amherst. Is it by chance the uh, cemetery there in the center of Amherst? There's a cemetery over there uh, uh, that uh, is near the high school. Is that the cemetery? Okay, so this uh, person is buried in that cemetery somewhere uh, near the high school. Uh, is there a gravestone on your uh, burial spot? There is a gravestone there. Are you going to be able to make out the the words being so old it might be kind of worn away? Well, if you uh, look at the gravestones in the cemetery there, would you be able to read the words? Okay, you could read the words there. Uh, so you're here at this building here because you happen to be killed in this location, but they brought your body to the uh, cemetery in downtown Amherst, but your spirit is kind of here uh, at the building here, is that correct? Yes, the spirit is in the building here. So are you saying that there are other spirits here in the building here with you? There's other spirits here in the building here. Are these other spirits uh, companions of yours that might have been attacked at the same time that you were attacked?
So these are other people that were uh, with this uh, person from Cape Cod that were traveling through the Amherst area. They happen to be attacked. Is it like more than three people? Is it more than five people? So it was like four, uh, four other people with you. So were all five of you uh, uh, killed in this area here? Uh, five people killed in this area in the vicinity of this building here between 1880 and 1890. Are these other people are buried with you in that cemetery in Amherst? Oh, boy. Uh, so there are a group of people that were traveling through and I guess they were robbed. Were these people attacked, uh, including you, by a, a large group of uh, Amherst area people here? Oh boy. So they were attacked by some uh, local residents in the area here and uh, all killed. <laughs> oh boy. So uh, you're in this building here, and this is uh, where you're staying uh, f uh, for eternity. Yes. Well... I watched a movie, and I, I think it was called Ghost, and uh, a ghost uh, was in a certain building, and I guess it became a big sky, skyscraper or something, uh, but it was that same location. Is this a similar kind of situation? So, yes, yeah, so no matter what happens to be in this location, I guess... Uh, uh, the ghost will be a resident of this area here. Uh, are you by any chance uh, an, a, a ghost that uh, had any kind of religious affiliations? No religious affiliations. You were traveling through as uh, as a group that were planning on going to another area. Is that it? Okay, they were traveling through Amherst and happened to be uh, attacked in this particular spot here and they're buried in downtown Amherst. Uh, was this in the local newspaper, say the, the Amherst newspaper back between 1880 and 1890? Uh, so according to the crystal, it was, uh, in the newspaper, some local newspaper, if somebody wants to check it out, uh, 
I really, I, I, I'm not particularly interested in uh, finding information about it. I'm sure that there might be people wanting to check into this, but <laughs> I don't happen to be one of them. I'm just demonstrating that there are spirits amongst us and that uh, we may not necessarily see these spirits, but they seem to be amongst us. So you've been here since uh, between 1880 and 1890? Yes. Your companions have been here as well. Your companions are all men. No. Were there some children with you? Oh boy. Uh, some children there. Were there like uh, maybe uh, two men, two women and uh, children, something like that. Maybe, let's say two adult men, two adult women, and uh, two other children. Oh. Two adult women, two adult men, and one child. Two adult men, two adult children, one child. Well, that's a total of five. I'm going to ask this again now. You said that there's you and another man, two women, adult women, and one child uh, were attacked in this area here and killed. Is that correct? Yes. Uh Were you attacked by some some men? Yes. Uh, you were traveling like over the horse and buggy through this area here, is that correct? Yes. Uh, were these attackers uh, like some robbers on horseback like uh, you used to see on the Western movies? Yes. Uh, did these attackers have uh, uh, guns? Yes. Uh, did you have any uh, weapons uh, with you to protect yourselves if there was any kind of uh, problem? Did you have any weapons yourselves?
You did not have any weapons. Do you think that if you had uh, weapons that you had with you that you would have uh, prevented uh, this uh, this event? Uh, so you were unprotected, attacked by uh, people with guns, you didn't have any guns, and uh, you were all killed. <laughs> Is that basically what happened yes uh, okay well maybe uh, this is something that people need to be thinking about in this day and age Do you think that uh, the general population uh, uh, should have uh, guns for their own protection? No. Do you think that uh, in the time that you were here in this area here that it would have been advisable that you had your own weapons? Well, it says uh, in this day and age not to be uh, needing weapons, but in that time period, it might have been a good idea to have weapons when they were traveling. Uh, that sounds logical to me. I don't uh, see any uh, a problem with that. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, uh, nowadays uh, uh, people are uh, having uh, uh, guns and uh, they're shooting people that you hear about on the news all the time. You think that these people should have guns? No. Do you think the gun laws will protect people from uh, shootings in the future? No. Uh, I don't know how far I want to go with this. <laughs> this is just an opinion of a dead person that may, may not necessarily reflect uh, opinions. But apparently this was a group of people that traveled through this area uh, and happened to be uh, uh, killed by some maybe outlaws or something that were here and uh, took whatever valuables they had and uh, left them for dead. So is that basically what happened? They kind of attacked you, grabbed your stuff, and left you for dead? Is that what happened? Did you have a lot of valuable stuff with you, say that you had some kind of... Uh, uh, money or some kind of stuff that you were uh, uh, traveling with and they uh, they wanted to attack you because you had valuables? What was that? No. So you didn't have a lot of valuables. Is that what you're saying? You did not have a lot of valuables. Do you think they just uh, 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 killed you because they happened to be just like mentally disturbed people? Yes. Well, mentally disturbed people shouldn't have guns, let's put it this way. <laughs> So uh, we got basically your story. So this is uh, this is what I uh, got over the time period. I've been asking you questions here. Uh, you came from Cape Cod, is that correct? Yes. 
You were traveling uh, through this Amherst area in a horse and buggy between 1880 and 1890. That's correct. And uh, you were attacked by some uh, uh, men that had weapons. Uh, is that correct? And these men uh, didn't know if you had valuables or not, so they just kind of shot and killed you or something like that. Is that basically what happened? Okay. I need to ask you, because you may know, uh, were these men ever caught... Uh, after they uh, uh, killed you, do you know if they were caught? No. Uh, so these men, I guess, uh, got away with murder, didn't really get anything out of it. So this is a story about the Amherst Media building here. You have ghosts that are living here that were attacked between 1880 and 1890. You're not going to do anything about uh, things that are events at the, uh, at the Amherst Media here. There's nothing that you can do, is that correct? They claim that there's nothing that they can do. Uh, I had uh, done a program a number of years ago over here where I had this crystal and I went over to the cemetery and I put the crystal over certain tombstones. Sometimes it went clockwise and sometimes it went counterclockwise. So I brought the footage back to the TV station here and my hard drive burned up. Uh, uh, would you think that that might have been done uh, by one of the ghosts here? Is that what happened? No. Was that uh, done by some other uh, spiritual entity? No. Well, I don't have an explanation while my hard drive burned up there. Uh, so there's no uh, association between uh, uh, the paranormal and my hard drive burning up after I shot that footage. Is that correct? So the hard drive just happened to uh, burn up maybe because of some kind of uh, thing that might have been uh, caused by the electronic equipment, maybe some kind of electrical malfunction. Yes. Well, I did get that footage there, and I did uh, have to go back to the cemetery and shoot it over again, and I didn't have any problem with that, so... Perhaps that was caused by some kind of electrical problem with the equipment uh, and it caused the uh, hard drive to burn up. I was thinking it was because uh, the spirits didn't like it because I was uh, uh, checking about stuff at the cemetery. But according to this one, it wasn't it didn't have anything to do with spirits. Okay, well, I'm going to be finishing up here now, so uh, I'm going to uh, ask you, uh, are you uh, willing to uh, have this investigated if anybody was interested to look up the information? Uh, uh, is, is it between 1880 and 1885? No. Okay, is it between 1885 and 1890? Okay, it's between 1885 and 1890 that this uh, 
this thing happen uh, to these people that were traveling uh, through the Amherst area. Uh, I don't know how much more I can do this here. Uh, anybody wants to check into that, uh, I'm sure you can look it up between 1885 and 1890. And there were a total of five people that were killed by some uh, some robbers or something. Is that correct? Yes. And, and you are buried in uh, the cemetery in downtown Amherst. Is that correct? But your spirits are here at the Amherst Media Building. Is that correct? Is it because this was the location that uh, you happen to be killed in this this location? Is that the reason? Yes, and uh, you you're primarily on the second floor. Is that it? Are you down here on the main floor uh, most of the day? No. So you come down here on the main floor here just once in a while, is that correct? Okay, well... Uh so the ghost likes to come downstairs here and kind of see what's going on, but doesn't like to hang out over here, goes back upstairs there. So I guess the ghosts are hanging around upstairs. Uh, so uh, if there's any kind of paranormal people that want to come over here and investigate, they're free to come over here. Uh, I'm sure that they might find some kind of uh, evidence of uh, uh, ghosts that are in this building here. Uh, for now, I'm going to uh, let this interview uh, go because it's getting late and I don't know how long I've been here. Let me look at my watch. It's almost an hour, I think, I've been talking on this program here. So, Having an interview with a ghost, <laughs> something that you don't ordinarily see on regular TV. It's only on something like amorousmedia.org. We do alternative programming. And I'm from the Alternative Society, the Alternative Inner Circle. The Alternative Inner Circle are people that believe in the paranormal stuff. I'm sure that uh, there are other people that are interested in this kind of stuff here. They may want to come over to Amherst Media and check it out to see what they can uh, find out. Uh, I don't have any kind of information here. Uh, I'm sure that if they uh, try to set something up, they might be able to pick up some kind of stuff here. But I think that you would need some kind of uh, paranormal investigators. I went to uh, one of these things in Montague, and they set up all kinds of equipment and uh, the audio thing was kind of going off once in a while when they were asking questions. Uh, so they were using uh, a technology to communicate. I'm just using a crystal here. Uh, the crystal does uh, have some kind of powers here because it's uh, from nature. Uh, so I kind of picked this up over the years. I kind of was interested in... Uh, uh, this kind of stuff, because I saw it on TV when I watched TV in the past, and they mentioned some of the, some of the stuff that they do. And I did uh, investigate about uh, uh, the Ouija board, and uh, somebody actually wrote a book about the Ouija board. I think the the book was entitled "The Most Dangerous Game." Uh, I bought the book, but never read it. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's available. You could probably get that book and read that. That's kind of a dangerous thing because you're dealing with uh, spirits and just kind of inviting them to come over, and you don't know what kind of spirits you're going to be dealing with. 
the spirits at this building are here for a reason. Uh, there's probably other spirits out and about. Like I said, at my house, I seem to be having some kind of unusual experiences. Uh, uh, so I'm going to uh, finish up here and uh, let you kind of contemplate the uh, the consequences of this program. It might mean that uh, people might want to look into this I just used my crystal and I'm not moving it around. So apparently uh, somebody's giving me the message that people were killed between 1885 and 1890. Somebody that was a participant in the Civil War and I guess they were traveling through this area and were attacked by people with uh, weapons. Maybe a knife. Guns, I don't uh, know. Let me ask that one last question. Is uh was it a knife or guns or both? Uh, let's see now. So uh, people that attacked you, uh, did they attack you just with knives? No. But they did use a knife on you. So they uh, used some kind of guns and uh, shot people, is that what you're saying? So what did they do? They they shot the people and then uh, used a, a knife on them afterwards? Yes. <laughs> well, I think that I've had enough of this. I don't really want to be dealing with this story here. This is not really something that I was planning on doing. I was waiting for a guest to show up here, and the guest didn't show up, so I said, well, I'll interview the ghost, because I uh, checked while I was waiting if there was a ghost in the building, and uh, Crystal said, yes, there is a ghost in the building, so that's why I ended up with this program here, so... I guess I'm going to let it go, and uh, I'm going to uh, say goodbye for now. Maybe uh, if you come over here, you can use some kind of paranormal investigator equipment and try to get some more information, but I'm going to let it go here. I'm going to shut off, and I'm going to say peace. Thank <laughs> you.